First lesson, move one, readability. If you have applied the electrodes in the proper way, the first electrocardiography graph should have come out like this. The ECG will be in fact printed on a graph paper that we use in order to be able to carry out the necessary measurements. This one. You must be aware that the smallest square of the paper is one millimeter by one millimeter. The first wave, one, is called P wave and reflects the limb's electrical activity. Usually such wave is positive. It goes upwards. Between the P wave and the Q1, there is a mark, usually horizontal, said PQ or Fourth lesson, move for the waves. Waves morphology. We are still talking about normality criteria and now the time has come to analyze. And now we have come to the R wave, what it represents. It represents like the Q wave, Ninth lesson, the ventricular arrhythmia. As for the ventricular arrhythmia, we will apply. The BEV genesis is exalt automatism. Second lesson, move to the rhythm. The rhythm is the feeling of what is right. Well, this is the start of the real electrocardiograph analysis. The cardiac beat is normally called sinusal beat. Establish the rate. If the beat comes across to you as being regular, carry out the three signs test. Get a small sheet of paper, but sometimes the RR space isn't exactly very. Let's see. If there are doubts on the cardiac beat, it is advisable to carry 